There's a rhythm and rush these days Where the lights don't move and the colors don't fade Leaves you empty with nothing but dreams In a world gone shallow and a world gone mean Morning. Looks like a wonderful day to come out to my mom. Sometimes there's things a man cannot know. The gears won't turn and the leaves won't grow. I didn't film this with the intention of putting it online. I recorded the phone call with my mother because while there are thousands, if not millions, of coming out live to parent videos on YouTube, they're almost always about sexuality or binary transgenders. I've never seen someone come out as genderqueer or non-binary and explain that kind of physical transition or identity to a parent. If it went poorly, I wanted to be able to go back and figure out what parts I fudged or relayed to my mom unclearly. You see, explaining in the middle genders or out of the box genders can sometimes be super challenging and confusing. Plus, I am still quite insecure about my non-binary-ness. I have some serious shame and internalized ish in here. Because of that, I was very worried about sobbing, rambling, and severely perplexing my mother. Spoiler, that didn't happen. In fact, the conversation went so fantastically that I feel comfortable sharing it with you. Hopefully this can help some future NB babes. You're not gonna hear my mom's word-for-word -word replies, though. I wanted to keep some parts of our chat private and sacred. They are not for you. They are for me and her. And that's okay! I realize that documenting and sharing every vulnerable part of our lives seems to be the thing to do these days, but I'm here to tell you it is perfectly fine to keep some personal things personal. Editing Ash will include a few paraphrased subtitles here and there just for context, but that's it. All right, enjoy. I cry a lot, so sorry. I will stay with you tonight. This doesn't necessarily have an intention of living somewhere. It's very possible that this recording is just for me, and this doesn't see the light of day for a hundred different reasons. Gonna text, gonna text. I have a thing. Not gonna, not gonna talk much more about it though, or I'll work myself up. Doing it, just doing it. Ooh, what kind of scones are they? That sounds awesome. You made the walnut ones before or someone else did? You have made scones on more than one occasion? Ooh. That's so fancy. I have never made scones. I have only consumed them, and they're delicious. Oh, I'm sorry. That must have been hard. Yeah, that must have been hard. Mm-hmm. 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 That makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> that's weird. Um, well, it's something that I've wanted to talk to you about for a while. Um, um, ooh, crap. <laughs> um, it's really not a big deal, but, uh, um, you know. <laughs> Sorry, you know how you're a crier and I'm a crier, so. Crap, I thought I would at least get further than this. <laughs> Ooh, that's too bad. I thought I would get way further than that at least. Um, <laughs> right? It's like as soon as soon as like any kind of first voice quiver happens, it's like all downhill from there. So yeah, it's something I've wanted to talk to you for a while about, but um, um, I don't think it's scary or I don't think it's that that big of a deal. I don't think it really changes anything. And, and, um, before I tell you, I just want to tell you that I'm telling you because, um, I love you and because I want us to have, like, a really close relationship and I don't want anything to ever, like, go untalked about or unasked about or avoided or anything because, like, one of us or both of us or whatever is uncomfortable or scared or something because that's just not the relationship that I want to have with my mom because I, 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 yeah. Um, so that's why I'm telling you. No, I'm not doing drugs! <laughs> <laughs> Did you ask me that to, to lighten the mood? <laughs> oh, you're nice. That was nice. Um, and then also, before I tell you, um, I'm just gonna tell you about, like, maybe two things that I'm a little bit worried about. Um, and the first one is I'm worried that I'll tell you and, um, you'll try to, like, I don't know, talk me out of something? I think that would, um, hurt me a little bit. And then the other one is I'm worried that I'll tell you and, um, you'll think that it's, like, silly or something. I think that would... Oh, you're so good. Um, I also want you to, like, ask any questions that you have, um, and whatever. And, and, and I want you to, like, you know, be honest with, I don't know, any, anything you might be wondering or any, any feeling that you might have. So I don't want you to, like, I don't know. I want you to, like, 
you know, be honest about how you feel about like me and stuff like that. So I guess it kind of comes in two parts. We'll start with the first one. Um, you know, you've read my book. <laughs> so you know that like, right, too many times. Um, so you know that the way that I see, the way that a, a lot of people and the way that I see gender is that it exists, you know, like on a spectrum. And I'm like pretty sure that you know this but we've never actually like super talked about it like head on. I think by reading my book and like just if you watch anything I do online and stuff, you are kind of aware that I don't exi I don't like exist all the way on one end of the spectrum. I either like fill in the middle or I kind of move around a little bit or something like that. And then a word that you could use to like describe that and a word that I've been using to describe that kind of as of late is the word trans. So I would say that I'm trans. So that would be like the, f the first part. Um, how do you feel about that? Okay, yeah, that's a, re that's a really good, or that's like a normal thing to think, and that's not exactly how I feel. Um, so it can also be like somebody who was a girl and now feels like in the middle, or, or, um, because I definitely don't feel like a guy. So, it, so it would be just anything where your gender doesn't, um, match what? Yeah. No, no questions are stupid. Oh, um, because that just doesn't feel right to me. Like, um, if somebody were to say, like, they're a guy, I would be like, no. <laughs> um, it's kind of like if somebody said you were a guy, you would just know, like, oh, that's not right. But it kind of feels the same way with, like, if somebody were to look at me and be like, you are exclusively a girl, I would have the exact same feeling. I'd be like, oh, nope, that's not right. Right, no. Yeah, no, I think that's, like, how a lot of that, I, I think that's like a total, yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, I think the difference is like, it goes beyond clothing. Um, it's definitely not just clothes and it's definitely not just like gender roles. It's also like just an internal sense. It's kind of hard to explain, which I think is why it can be so confusing. Well, maybe the, well, first of all, how are you doing? Okay, good. Cool. Maybe the second part will kind of explain it maybe a little bit more. So the, the second thing, and probably the thing I'm just like a little bit more nervous to tell you is that, um... Oh, you got it! Yeah, you know! <laughs> yeah, but I think I want to go like all the way. Right. Because it doesn't feel right to me to have that. It would be like if you woke up with something that you didn't have before. Yeah, and then, oh, I'm not upset. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not upset at, like, your question or anything. I just know it's different, so I'm so, like, sensitive about, like, being, yeah. But no, I think that's a totally normal, you, like, none of your questions are bad or or they're, they don't, your questions don't upset me, just like my own insecurities. Grace is totally supportive and she totally gets it and Grace is like perfect. We're going to like, with our surgeon, talk through like how pregnancy will affect any kind of like surgery and also like how, like the best strategies for like keeping a biological kiddo super healthy if that's the route we want to take. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh-huh. Sure. Uh-huh. No, yeah, no, uh-uh. Yeah. I said that's kind of how I feel, but <laughs> I know not everybody can feel that way. I think that we all just project- I think we, like, project our own insecurities on the people that we care most about. You know, like, like, I, 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 I knew like, I, I, kn I knew that you- in my brain, I ran this conversation a hundred times, and I, Right, and, <laughs> and like 99 out of a- Oh. Yeah? I know, and I didn't wanna- I didn't wanna- I wanted us to, like, actually talk about it, rather than, like, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's harder sometimes to tell people that you actually care about. You know? Yeah. No, definitely. Well, and that's another reason that I wanted to talk to you, because it, it can take some recovery. So, in my brain, since I love you so much, I was hoping that, um, uh, once I go through it, if, if you have time off work, you'd fly up and help me recover, because it, ta it takes a little 
just like a like a few days of just having like a person by your side. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. This is that's fine. Right. That makes sense. <laughs> that's funny. If that's your biggest objection, then I think that this. <laughs> I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody would be like controversial or different like on purpose. Like I know how many times I wished I didn't feel that way because I think it's so, I don't know, it's just so strangely unique. So I like, like I wish I just didn't, but I can't, like I just, like couldn't, I couldn't anymore. So, yeah, I just don't think anybody would do that like, I don't know, on purpose. You know, it's just how they are. I think people sometimes get hung up on stuff like this too because then they're like, well, what are the chances that you're gay and this and this? And it's like, I don't know, brah. It's just how it is. But I agree, it is a pretty big coincidence. <laughs> but they, sometimes they can't get past that. All right, well, I'll let you go, Mom. But I love you so much and thank you for, like, literally, I don't know, saying exactly the most perfect things and being a good mom and being accepting and, and, and everything. I love you too. Okay, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. Gotcha, yes, good to know. Okay, alright. Okay, love you, bye mom. I recorded though for 54 minutes, so there is no way that anywhere close to most of it is going online. I feel like I want to go for like a celebratory dinner. Because I'm happy. It feels like a weight off my chest. No pun intended. There is a truth and it's on our side. Also, if any of you are curious regarding the timeline of when this happened, it occurred right before I came out to the internet. But it took a while for me to post because I wanted to make sure this video was perfect and I wanted to run it by my mom and get permission to post it. Because you can't just record people and post them without asking. Just so you know, you gotta make sure they're okay with it. And you gotta Gotta make sure they're comfy with everything you're putting out there if they're involved. And sometimes I feel like we forget that. A lot of YouTubers just hide cameras around the house, perform non-consensual pranks, air drama story times that involve other people without any regard for if those people are okay with that. So I'm trying to model the opposite of that behavior, considering others. This is a reminder to do that. Dawn is coming, open your eyes. Yay, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see the next part of my trans journey, be sure to hit that notifications bell, and you can watch me become me some more. Okay, bye. Look into the sun as a new day's rise.